me say this now and get it over with. If Dodge gives the new Charger a proper transmission, it will be spoken about in the same lofty platitudes as the BMW E39 M5. This car is that close to being a performance legend. Unfortunately, this car is burdened with Chrysler's old and slow five-speed auto. So let's talk about what Dodge did change then, namely, everything else. It's an evolution of the previous Charger with a soulful injection of Dodge's past. Inspired by the 1968 to 1970 Charger, each side of the vehicle is sculpted with a scallop. The top line resolves itself along the rear fender, bisecting the fuel door on the driver's side. The new twin scallops on the hood look aggressive, as does the new corporate crossfire grille. In the back, things start off with a redesigned rear spoiler and a track-inspired LED tail light system. New mini flying buttresses form the C-pillar, a new rear diffuser is in place, and a duo of geometrically shaped exhaust tips round out the exterior updates. The new interior, specifically the driver-centric center stack, has significantly upped the modern Charger's game. Updates include a Garmin-based 8.4-inch navigation system, excellent soft-touch materials, aluminum accents, better gauges, better leather, even the steering wheel is a big step in the right direction. The updated 5.7-liter Hemi V8 is now rated at 370 horsepower and 395 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 acceleration is accomplished in 5.3 seconds before storming through the quarter mile in 13.9 seconds at 103.6 miles per hour. All that hustle is brought back to a standstill with 60 to 0 braking in 113 feet. On the skid pad, the Charger pulls 0.86 G's average and races through the figure 8 in 26 seconds flat at 0.67 G's. While down on power, the new V6 isn't exactly a snoozer. With just 292 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque, the V6 runs from 0 to 60 in 7.3 seconds and on through the quarter mile in 15.6 seconds at 93.5 miles per hour. 60 to 0 braking takes as little as 115 feet. The Bent 6 maintains respectability on the skid pad with a 0.84G average and a figure 8 time of 26.7 seconds at 0.62G. With the heritage looks, the near superstar feel, and the pretty righteous performance, all the 2011 Charger needs is the ability to quickly shift gears. Until the Charger gets a new transmission, it will not be a genuine performance machine. But fear not. Dodge is promising a new 8-speed auto is on the way, probably for the 2012 model year. And it wouldn't be too hard for Dodge to bolt on the Challenger's manual either. You can probably guess which one we'd take.